Hey guys, welcome back to an all new episode of Conflicts. Today we're powering up our Iron Man suit with the E-Infinite. This here is a 4-in-1 power station that's actually a power station as well as a torch, flashlight, and also a power block. Now this features a variety of different outputs, allowing you to go ahead and use it for a variety of different tasks, and it's actually lightweight, which is almost great. Now, this here is funding right now, so if you guys wanted to go ahead and check them out, check out the link down below in the description, and in this episode here, we'll be unboxing it, as well as trying it out, and seeing exactly what it can do. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So this is here what we got. So we have our solar power panel right over here, and then we have our actual power station. So let's go ahead and open this thing up. All right, so this here is our box. It says portable power station, kind of showcases. It comes as a white and black. As you kind of rotate it here, it says e infinite, kind of shows it kind of appearing about, and it has a little wire diagram right there. All right, let's see what's inside. All right, so it looks like I actually got a letter from the CEO. Thank you so much for that. And then over here on the top, we have ourselves a user manual as well as some cool looking decals. Oh yeah, look at that. These are pretty cool looking stickers. So it just kind of shows you how to go ahead and use it. Uh, it does show that it was uh, quality certification passed. Uh, and it shows it explains how to go ahead and put it together as well as remove the handle, which we'll be doing in just a little bit. All right, and then we have ourselves some power cables. Looks like we have one that will connect it to the uh, cigarette lighter in a car to go ahead and charge it. And then we have another one here for a power outlet. All right, so in terms of contents, we have our user manual. We have some decals. Uh, we have a USB-B to USB-C cable. Uh, we have a direct power cord uh, to go ahead and charge it into the wall. And then we have a cigarette lighter port. Uh, I believe this is to go ahead and charge it via your car. Now, uh, this here is our actual power station, and this thing looks absolutely futuristic. I really like the clean color concept. So this here is the white housing. Uh, you have this very unique looking handle here on the top. Uh, you have a variety of different buttons. Uh, you can go ahead and pop this open over here, and you can actually see our different outputs. So we have our uh, input here for charging it via the car. We have a USB port. Uh, we have two USB ports, so this one here is a fast charging port. Uh, we have a Type-C port, and then we have a DC out, and then we have an on-off in terms of the DC port right over here. So besides these specific outputs, you can actually go ahead and rotate it just like this, and then underneath here you'll see a variety of different outputs, including two AC 120 volts, as well as a DC volt, and then over here you have your input two for the 120 volts to go ahead and charge it. And you have this almost like orange uh, ring around here, and there's like a looks might be a screen here on the top. That's pretty cool too. Uh, and then you have this handle. Now the handle serves as a multi-purpose, meaning you can go ahead and use it to go obviously to lift it, but it does have a detachable mode where you can use this as a flashlight. So let's go ahead and lift that up, lift that up like that, and just like that, you can go ahead and remove the handle. So when you press the button there, it'll unclip it and it'll clip it based on what you're trying to do. So it does have a four in one purpose. So one, obviously it is a handle. Uh, and then two, you have a flashlight by pressing this button here, just like that. Press it again, it'll turn into a strobe like this to essentially get someone's attention. Uh, and then you press this button here. Now you have yourself a torch. So you can go ahead and like explore or use it in the caves. That's pretty cool. Turn that off. And then uh, you have your USB-A2 on one side, and then you have your input two on the other side. So you do have the capability to use it as essentially a portable charger. Now, uh, the, to put this back in, it's actually quite simple. Just go ahead and place it in here like this. Push the button to lock it in place, like that. And then you lift up the handle here, and that'll lock it in there, just like that. Now, from there, if you hit this power button, 
This will go ahead and turn on our power station. All right, and then over here, it kind of shows the percentage life of it. So right now on the top says time left, and then it says how much percentage it is currently is. So right now it's about 59%. All right, so just to kind of do a quick little dry run test here, I have a miniature uh, Pac-Man arcade machine that we're gonna try out to see if we can turn this thing on. So I'm gonna use this USB port here. I'm just gonna plug it in just like this. There we are. Our power is on. We have our LCD screen with the orange ring. That's cool. Uh, let's go ahead and plug this in here next. We have light. And yes, it's doing exactly what it's intended to do. And just like that, we are able to use our Pac-Man machine based off of this. So it kind of gives you an idea about that. So let's go ahead and see what else we can go ahead and power on with our power station. All right, so for this test here, we're gonna see if we can power on our Iron Man suit using this particular power station. So let's go ahead and turn this thing on and see what happens. All right, it's gonna power this thing on here. I'm gonna open up this lid here. I'm gonna unplug it from the wall and then plug it directly into here. All right, we got power. So just like that, we were able to go ahead and power up our heavy duty Iron Man suit with this power box. Now you can fully control this thing and it's actually handling it quite well. And yeah, kind of shows you what it can do. Let's go ahead and see what else we can go ahead and power on with it. All right, so for our next test here, we're gonna see if you can power on all four of these arcade machines at once using the power station. So I got them all connected to this one plug here. So let's go ahead and plug this in here next and see what happens. Huh? <laughs> Check it out, it works! Sweet! So just like that, we were able to go ahead and power on all these arcade machines with this power station. And it even says here we have approximately four hours and 41 minutes of essentially game time. <laughs> so uh, yes, that is actually pretty darn cool. So it kind of gives you an idea of what you can do with this thing. So you can charge just about anything with it and it even gives you a time slide on how long you have it for. And then you have the additional adjustments in terms of, for instance, if I wanted to charge my phone or if I want to plug something else in, you have other outputs too, which is absolutely great for something of its size. Now with that said, if you had any questions about it, comment down below. Otherwise, we'll see you guys next time. Take care now. Bye-bye.